Hey guys, this is Sayed Mohammed Amin from Techisnet. Today I am going to show you about how to access another computer on your computer using remote desktop connection. You can visit our blog cyberfreewishes.com and you can view our article on this. It is a complete article with screenshots and I will add this video to it. As it is the recent post, the article is on the top. You can find it later by clicking the link on the screen. Uh, you need to follow some simple steps. I am going to show you some steps now. Go to start control panel system and security and click on system remote settings. Here you need to check this box allow remote assistance connections and here you need to allow remote connection to this computer don't check this allow only from computers running remote extra with network level authentication here you can also add users select users and click on add here you can add users then after adding it only that selected users will able to access or you can give them access after this Go to power options, more options, change plan settings, change advanced settings. Here you need to disable sleep, sleep after, you can see that it is on 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just make it never, never and make it also never. And for hibernate after also you make it never. Make it never and apply and click OK. Now you can see that when click sleep, it is never never. OK. This step is completed. After doing that settings, you need to know the system name and password of the computer you want to access so just get the details click on start remote desktop connection now type the IP address or uh, you can click on show options and type the username also here I will connect with IP address connect you can see that after pressing connect it has given the user a list of users I want to access this computer so I need to enter the password of it some warning will be given click on yes now you can see that I can fully access the other computer you can see that my friend was running some songs and all the tabs he opened will be opened I can fully access it you can also minimize this and you, you can also minimize this and use it as a tab and do other works while doing that you can drag and drop here and copy files the things I have shown you only works with intranet that means you need to be connected with the same IP address or on the same network thanks for watching our video please subscribe to our youtube channel